Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today with a roundup of our seven best-selling patterns of 2023. So across the course of the year, these are the patterns that people ordered the most from us. I've picked out gorgeous fabrics that you could pair them with and I've saved the two most popular patterns till the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Everything will be linked below and is available on our lovely website and you'll also find a link to our weekly newsletter, so do sign up to that for a weekly dose of inspiration straight to your inbox. So let's get started with the first pattern, which is Simplicity 9702. It's a gorgeous dress pattern that I think could bridge the seasons because you've got options for long sleeves and short sleeves. It's got a V-neck at the front. It's got an empire line with gathers under the bust. And then it's got options for either a maxi tiered skirt, which I absolutely adore, or you can go for a skirt that's um, probably about knee length with a ruffle hem. Um, and then there's an option for a knee length skirt with no ruffle on the hem as well. Um, I think there's also an option for a little contrasting collar on one of the views as well. And then you've got an option for a long sleeve with a little trumpet sleeve. So there's elastic round um, the wrist and then the fabric trumpets out. Or you've got the option for an elasticated gathered sleeve hem as well. And then options for little trumpet short sleeves as well. So it's a really, really pretty pattern I can see why this was popular it runs up to a size 26 starts at an 8 which is a 31 and a half bust 24 waist 33 and a half hip runs up to a 26 which is a 48 bust 41 and a half waist and a 50 hip and you want to sew this up in things like poplins gauze cotton blends or linens I thought for winter the long sleeve version um, with the shorter hem would look awesome sewn up in this beautiful visco goes fabric which I think is from France it's an ex-designer dead stock it's absolutely gorgeous it's been really popular I've had to reorder this one I've seen one of our customers sent me a beautiful photo of a wrap skirt she'd made in it and it just looked great and I thought that would look lovely sewn up into that short version of that dress and you could pair that with thick tights and boots for a nice winter day look the next one is New Look 6692. I'm not surprised at all about this one either. This was an absolute stormer for us. I remember people couldn't get their hands on this at one point. It's a really pretty dress. It's got a lovely square neckline. It's got princess seams on the bodice and it's got short sleeves and then you've got the option for a tiered skirt or a short which is a sort of midi maxi length um it's not really tiered actually it's only two it's a long tier and then a deep ruffle hem or you've got an option for a shorter skirt that's got a deep ruffle hem you can make it sleeveless as well i thought you could actually make this longer sleeve for the winter if you wanted to um it runs from a six to an 18 so a six is a 30 and a half bust 23 waist 32 and a half hip and an 18 is a 40 bust 32 waist and 42 hip and the fabric I thought that would look great in for a winter look I mean you could you can make all of these work across the seasons but I just thought it'd be nice to go for a dark floral cotton like this one and that would make a really pretty winter version of that dress which you could layer again with tights boots a cardigan I've got a cardigan on with my dress today that's how I like to layer up for winter with these pretty dress patterns because you still want to wear them even though the sun's not shining well that's my opinion anyway um, don't forget you'll find links to all the patterns and the fabrics below if you want to find them they're all on our site the next pattern is the Shelby dress and romper which I've actually made before I will pop a link to my two versions I've made of this dress before because I like it so much it's a v-neck button-down dress with um, princess seams and it's got a flared skirt um, and then it's got princess seams at the back as well and then it's got a waist to tie at the back to cinch it in at the waist and in my experience I've made it twice it's a lovely dress to make it's a lovely dress to wear it comes together very quickly um, and I thought with this one again you could go for the maxi length for winter 
and I've picked out a fabric for that but I've made um, like a two summery versions that were the short um, short sleeve versions but yeah I definitely think a maxi length one of these in a dramatic dark floral with some boots and a leather jacket would look absolutely great so this runs from a naught to an 18 a naught is a 32 bust 26 waist 34 hip and an 18 is a 44 and a half bust 38 and a half waist and a 46 and a half hip and the fabric I chose for that one is this gorgeous X designer dead stock fabric um, it's a viscose again it's just this beautiful pretty blue floral print that dark moody floral and I just think yeah pair that with a black leather jacket and some black biker boots um, and that would look great or even knee high pointy boots perhaps um, for a more dressed up look the next one is another one that I've made so I'm going to pop links below to all of my versions of these patterns as well because I have made four of them, four out of the seven I've made before. So I'll pop links to those below so you can see them made up and hear in more detail about those patterns but the Ogden Cami has been super popular again this year so this is a true bias pattern. Um, again it runs in the same size range as the Shelby dress which was also a true bias pattern and it's just a really simple cami top with a v-neck front it's got a bit of a scoop at the back um, and it's got a lovely the one thing I remember about it it's got a lovely deep um, sort of half lining is how the neckline's finished and it just all comes together really easily I think it's only like three pattern pieces um, it's a great project and it's just a brilliant thing to have in your wardrobe uh, great for layering great for the summer um, yeah I, I've worn mine an awful lot over the years I've had it several years now and I still wear it all the time um, the fabric I chose for that for like a wintry more of a wintry look is again another one of our X designer dead stocks um, this is a really pretty viscose fabric again so it's got lovely drape and movement so it'd be perfect for the Ogden Cami and I thought if you made it up in this pink with the black floral prints you could pair that with black jeans or black trousers and strappy shoes and it would make a really gorgeous sexy evening outfit that you could wear um, out for dinner or to the pub or for drinks with friends so yeah that was my choice for that one. The next pattern is one that actually appeared in last year's shortlist. So this is an absolute goer. It's one I never would have noticed or thought about myself. But I remember saying last year, oh yeah, like I would easily overlook this, but I can see why it's so popular. And it was just really interesting to see that it's been so popular again. It's Simplicity 9595. It's a super easy sew. It's got one main pattern piece and it's a pair of wide leg trousers that have got like a wrap around effect and they tie at the front. Um, it runs up to a size large, which is an 18 to 20, um, which is a 34 waist and a 44 hip. Um, and it's designed for cotton types, linen types, chalet, lightweight crepe, um, that sort of thing. Border prints would work pretty well with this one as well. Um, but the fabric I thought that would be perfect for those trousers that we've had in fairly recently is another X designer dead stock, gorgeous chalet fabric. It's absolutely, sorry, viscose. Viscose fabric, it might be a viscose chalet, it's silky soft. I am desperate to make something in this. It just is the prettiest fabric, it's the prettiest colours, and I can just imagine those trousers, those wide leg, loose fitting trousers sewn up in this and then paired with just a really simple white t-shirt. Oh, it would look so gorgeous. Um, or in the winter, you could pair it with black perhaps. Um, and yeah, I just think that would work brilliantly for those trousers. I really must get around to making those because it would be such a quick simple satisfying sew I'm sure and there must be a reason why two years running that pa pattern has been just so popular and then the next pattern is one of our these are the last two now that were the absolute top sellers I've made this one it's the Friday Pattern Company patina blouse I'm going to pop a link to the review video of my patina blouse so you can see it in more detail hear more about it but it's a fantastic pattern 
Um, it's a lovely blouse pattern. It's a loose fit, so it's not difficult to fit at all. It's got bust darts for a little bit of shape, but it is not fitted. It's a button down front. You've got options for a low V at the front or a slightly higher one. And this really cute pointy collar, which I absolutely loved making. You've got options for short sleeves or long sleeves that are gathered into a little cuff. And then there's a yoke on the back with a little bit of gathering detail. It's just a nice, simple, easy blouse to sew and it's something that I've worn time and time again. This is really size inclusive. It runs up to a 7X, which is a 59 bust, oh, sorry, 60 bust, 53 waist and 63 hip. And you can make it in lots of different fabrics. It's for woven fabrics. Um, again, it's gonna be things like cottons, viscose, that sort of thing. And the fabric I chose is this beautiful, beautiful cotton. I think it's a cotton lawn. All the details are on the site. I'm gonna put all the links below so you can find the fabrics, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. I really love this fabric. I love the bird prints. I love the colourway. Oh, I just think it would look absolutely fantastic sewn up into a patina blouse. So somebody, I haven't got time probably to make this myself. I've got lots of other projects on the go. I've also started crocheting recently because, um, you know, I've got so much spare time. Um, but yeah, please somebody, let me live vicariously through you. I'd love to see that sewn up into a patina blouse. That would make me very happy indeed. And then finally, the best selling pattern of 2023, drum roll please is the Tasuti Fabrics Lowest Dress which I have also made. I will pop a link to that below for you. It's an absolutely beautiful dress. It's really cleverly designed. Um, it's got definite sort of vintage vibes. It's got a v-neck at the front, um, a curved seam under the bust with little bust starts that come out of that, um, a grown on sleeve that's finished with a band and then a gentle a-line skirt but there's just some really clever design features in this pattern so the side seams don't run down the side of the skirt the front skirt piece wraps around and then you've got two seams down the back of the skirt but then to create the shape in the skirt um, at the sides you sew darts and then one of the darts you actually sew the zip into so it's a really clever well thought out design feature when I first read about it I thought oh sewing a zip into a dart that sounds complicated but the instructions were great I didn't have a problem and the neat the finish was really neat and it looked fab I was really happy with it so highly recommend this pattern and it's one of those dresses that you put it on and you just feel amazing <laughs> um, you just feel I, I felt in it confident but comfortable relaxed like it just hangs in all the right places and it's just like it's a lovely midi length it's just easy to wear and it just it's one of those items that just gives me a real confidence boost so I love this dress and I can see why it was our best seller for 2023. It runs up to a 16 which is a 42 bust, 37 waist and a 46 hip and I made it in a lovely viscose twill fabric, a, a navy and white polka dot. Um, that's now long gone, that was earlier this year, like earlier in 2023 but we have got this gorgeous cotton which is like a navy blue backdrop and then it's got this beautiful pale pink spots on it um, which I thought was really fun and just a little bit of a different colour combination for a classic polka dot and I think that would work really well. So I hope you've enjoyed that little rundown. I'd love to hear in the comments which one's your favourite, what would you like to make and what was your best pattern of 2023. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you see today. If you do please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.